Today's victim is AMD Fire Pro W5100, which I get from Old Dell Workstation. But here's the fun fact about this card. This card is capable of running 4K displays. Matter of the card's age, this card was made for video editors, designers and specifically CAD and 3D modeling. But today I will test this card's strength in gaming. But firstly, what the hell is this card? Well, this card was released back in 2014. Based on Bonaire graphics processor, this card is squeezing out 768 shading units with 4GB memory size. And this card came out only with GDDR5 memory, plus equipped with ECC. Card has 128-bit bus width and TDP of only 50 watts. I will add that I like that this card is very compact and equipped with 4 display port outputs. But now let's see card's performance in different game genres. Starting kind strong in CS2, then ATP medium preset. Card's average frame rate was 62.4 FPS, minimum was 34.1, and maximum of 86.9 FPS. In CS, I thought that card will break 100 FPS mark in the medium preset, but it's workstation card with 50 watt TDP, so I'm kinda impressed with the results anyway. But next game is Rainbow Six Siege in the ATP but now in low graphics preset. Average card gets 74.6 FPS, minimum was 56.9 FPS, and maximum was 95.4 frames per second. I'd say enough FPS to play a game without stutters. But now game where card's performance really started to shine. Rocket League, Intena ATP, high quality preset. Average frame rate was 72.4, minimum was 54.2 FPS, where maximum was 98.2 frames per second. Well, if you are grinding Rocket League and don't want to break a graphics card budget, then this card is right for you. Next up is GTA 5 in the ATP with high graphics preset in DirectX 11 mode. Card's average frame rate was 55.2 FPS and minimum was 44.2 FPS, where maximum was 62.8 FPS. I will give this card a credit. The GTA 5 ran beautifully in high preset, but other than that, card run game okay-ish. Next, I run 3D Marks Time Spy in the ATP, and card scored as expected 1954 points. Now, for last, I run Heaven Benchmark in the ATP but low quality preset and in DirectX 11 mode. And here, card average 74.7 FPS, minimum was 49.8 FPS, and maximum was 117.2 FPS. And card score was similar to 3D marks, with only 1963 points. But I guess here at least card break through 100 FPS mark. As for the end, I will say that for modeling and 3D rendering, card might perform better. But for games, well, Let's say that you are better off with modern integrated graphics in some point. But I guess it only consumes 50 watts and you can get this card for as low as 10 euros. So you can kinda buy this card only for its looks. But other than that, I 100% will test this card performance in some creative apps like DaVinci Resolve or AutoCAD. But write in the comments your thoughts on this card. And thanks for watching till the end. Please subscribe.